Did Dimitri Bivo just get robbed? Let's talk about it. So to answer that question, in my really personal opinion, I think Arthur Bird to be one, fair and square. And I was going for Bivo, as you can see in my last video. I really thought Bivo was gonna not manhandle him, but just you know, just just jab, jab, jab all day. And then, you know, of course, it's combos, you know. But in my personal opinion, I really do think Arthur Birdie did win. I had it 7 to 5, so I think like 115, 113. But on Twitter is going crazy about how it was a robbery. You know, that Bivo clearly won by like two, three rounds. I'm like, well, what fight were you guys watching? You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was crazy. And but you guys, you guys, I'm telling you, you guys know me, bro. Like, Bivo is one of my favorite fighters right now, as you speak. Like, his style is just so good, like, beautiful to watch. And it's just like an art. It's the uh, art. Like, his style is just so nice, bro. I really thought Bernard Beef wasn't going to hang in like that, you know? Because, I mean, he is getting older, 39 years old. Bro, he really just went in there and just, you know, was aggressive the whole time. Had had Beef on his back foot. And, um, you know, he did his thing, you know? That pressure, I'm telling you, it always gets you points. Like, his his Mexican style of just being aggressive with just going forward, going... I'm telling you, that shit counts, bro. You guys understand, like... Of course, boxing, you know, jab, jab, not getting hit counts to his point. But, but being aggressive, I, I feel like just counts more, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like more of a, like, what's the word? Yeah, like, it's just, you know, like, you're winning the fight. You know, like, you, like you're there you're there to fight. You know, you're not there just to punch around, hit, not get hit. Like, you know, you, you got to win, you know? So, I feel like Bernie Beaver's aggression really, um, really changed the scorecards, you know, gave the judges a different look. I do feel like Beaver did land the more clear shots and cleaner shots, but... You know, like, it's just, it's it's hard to judge, in my opinion. It really is hard to judge. But I really did have it, Bird to be uh 115-113. In my live stream watch party, I was I was even saying it. I was saying, like, bro, Bebo has to pick it up. Like, if Bebo doesn't pick up these last two, three rounds, he's going to lose. You know, I had Bebo winning the first two. And I think the third round, I had him uh, losing. So, it was, like, 2-1. And then after that third round, I feel like Bird to be just had control the whole entire fight. But every round was really, really close. Like, it could have went... Like, neck and neck, literally. That, that aggressiveness counts as, you know, as, like, you you winning. If you're just backing up, backing up, backing up, like, you know what I mean? Like, from a, from a person's eye, it looks like you're losing. You know what I'm saying? So, be aggressive going forward matters. But, you know, these these guys don't, you know, these boxers, like, like Shakur Stevenson, um, who else said he got robbed? Bro, more people were just, you know, like, they don't understand the game like that, bro. Of course... You know, hitting, not getting hit counts, but bro, when you're just backing up the whole time, it's like, all the, all the judges are seeing is you backing up. Yeah, they're gonna see, they're gonna see that you're hitting him, but you're backing up, backing up, backing up. So when Birdie Beav is landing, not uh, as much as Beavil, but when he's landing and going forward, I mean, he looks like he's a clear winner. And then, Birdie Beav started, I think, went from like the third round all the way to like the seventh round, he started, he, he won. So I think at a point, I had like 5-3. I think around 8-9 was when people started tying up. Uh, he, I think he caught him with a nice left hook that kind of dazed him. Not like dazed him, but you know, it, it rocked him a little bit. And it was a, it was crazy. So going into like round 10, I believe I had like 5-4 bird be in. And like I said, like I was going for people the whole time. You know, like this is me just not being biased at all. Like I was not saying in my stream, I'm saying, bro, people has to put the pressure, you know, put more effort in these last couple rounds. If not, he's going to lose. And then I think from round 10 to 12 is what was, you know, when he lost. I think round 10 he won, in my opinion, I think. I had a 5-5 five, five at a point, And then I think 11 and 12 is when Birdie Beef just, you know, just, just sweep the floor. In my personal opinion... No, Bebo was not rubbed. Brother Beav 100% deserves that. He fought like a dog. He just, you know, it's that pressure. That pressure gets gets to you, you know what I'm saying? You you have to, you know, want to fight. Not saying Bebo didn't want to fight, but Bebo, you know, his style is different. In some fights, he does he does go forward and he is the aggressor. But when you're with someone like Brother Beav, you know, styles, you know, styles make fights. So, he just changed his whole game plan and, you know, that's just how it was. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't really think that Bebo got robbed, but I do want to see a rematch. That would be a good fight to do again. It was a really good fight. Both of them were going at it. Uh, it was a really good fight. Just work of art, for real, for real. That's pretty much it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have a couple videos dropping up soon for UFC, so stay tuned for that. And um, that's pretty much it, man. It's been your boy, man, and I'm out. Peace.